Hey there, I just got my Butterfly IQ Ultrasound a couple months ago when it first came out. I've been on the wait list for over a year and I've been researching different options for protecting it. So these are, in my opinion, the best two. Most people, it seems, that I saw online were going with the Pelican 1170 and I prefer Nanook, the 909. It's a slightly larger. We'll go over the dimensions later. And uh, let's first look at the budget, best budget option I found. It's the Hermit Shell. So this is more of a soft case. It's not waterproof. It's zipper, zippered closed. Uh, it fits everything pretty well. It's a little tighter fit, but you can see I got everything in there. The advantages are the cost. This was only $15 when I bought it. I know Amazon pricing is variable, but it was only $15. The uh, pick and pluck foam was actually far easier to use than in the Nanook. I don't know if that means it's less stable and this, these areas of more tension maybe are gonna pull out more easily, but I found it much easier to use. And the size of the cubes is also, I believe, slightly smaller, so you can get maybe a more accurate fit. I couldn't fit this in here. Had I redone it, maybe I would have moved this up some the probe, another two boxes. But the way I have it here, everything seems to fit quite well. There is no bottom foam. So there's a top foam, the middle foam with the pick and pluck, and then nothing on the bottom. So which is different than all of the hard cases. So that's enough of that. Let's look at the Nanook case. Okay, let's look at the Nanook case. The Nanooks and the Pelicans are extremely similar. They're basically the same quality. They're both extremely high quality. The cost is about the same. That one was $15, this one was $50. So more than three times as much, and it's certainly not three times better. And the chance of us using ultrasound equipment near water or needing water protection is probably pretty rare. I think there are very few people who are gonna need that aspect of it. The crush protection, same thing. I don't think we're gonna run over our ultrasounds. The Nanook over the Pelican. So two things I saw online are that the Nanook handle sort of snaps into place so it stays out of the way and it has these latches. So you can't open these latches without pulling this safety down to open them. And the Pelican doesn't have those features. Are they important? Probably not. I, I just thought they were two nice touches, but is this, how often can you imagine this being accidentally opened I, in transport or something? I really, I don't see a use case for this, but it's nice, it's a nice feature. So it sold me on. It fits everything better than the Hermit Shell does. It is bigger though, as you saw. Uh, it's deeper as well. So the Nanook 909 versus the Pelican 1170. The Nanook 909 is an inch longer this way and an inch wider this way, as well as maybe about a half inch deeper. If you see my ultrasound gel bottle, how it's fitting in there, if we lost a half inch, it would be sticking out even more. But I th people make it work, definitely. You could also cut out some of the bottom foam in the Pelican to make it fit better if need be, because this doesn't need to be protected from shock. I additionally put a little hole for the cap in the bottom foam, so I can set, when I set it up, I, I can use that as a place to let the gel settle. I've got all my cables, my wireless charger in here. And that's really all you need to know. The quality difference between the Nanook and the Pelican, I can't imagine there's one. They're both super high quality, higher quality than you'll ever need, completely waterproof. They both have automatic seals for air venting. They both have O-rings. Uh, they both have top and bottom padding or top and bottom foam, plus the pick and pluck foam. The pick and pluck foam is a half inch cube and 
uh, I don't know if you can see in here. So the pick and pluck foam for the Nanook is half inch and for the Hermit Shell, I don't know what size it is, but it is a little bit smaller. Both the Nanook and the Pelican are completely overbuilt. You can probably drive over both of them in your car and still have everything be okay. But again, when is that ever gonna happen? They both come in a lot of different colors. They're both about the same price. You can't go wrong with this. If you got the money to spend, get the Nanook 909 or the Pelican 1170. If you're on a budget, the Hermit Shell case is fantastic. If you work somewhere where you have multiple probes, you could use the Nanook 910 case. It's got a lot more room. You can have your gel bottle. You can actually put your probe vertically and probably fit four of them in here with a single charger and a single gel bottle. Another option, let's say you're doing mission work, would be to have your gel bottle, your, pro your probe, charger, and cables, and then have other things you might need, a pulse ox, a BP cuff, uh, I don't know what else you'd want to protect, but you can imagine if you're going on mission work, that's probably a place where you'd really want to have better protection and you might have other things along with you. I don't know what the equivalent in the Pelican cases is. They're not the same sizes. They have slight variations. So it might be a little smaller, a little bigger than this one. Another option you may look at is Harbor Freight. They have hard plastic shell cases like these at what seems like a reasonably similar quality. The air vents aren't automatic. You have to manually purge them, but the sizes simply don't work. The 1800 is too small, and the next size up, the 2800 is too big for a single probe. I would stick with the Nanook or the Pelican if you have the money, and if not, the Hermit Shell.